Good morning. Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the Romans chapter 10, verse 16 to 21. Book of Romans chapter 10, verse 16 to 21. But not all the Israelites accept the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has uh, believed our message? Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message. The message is hearing, heard through the word of Christ. But I ask, did you, they not hear? Of course they did. Their voice has gone out into all the earth, their word to the ends of the world. Again I ask, did Israel not understand? First Moses says, I will make you envious by those who are not a nation. I will make you angry by a nation that has no understanding. And Isaiah boldly says, I was found by those who did not seek me. I revealed myself to those who did not ask for me. But concerning Israel, he says, all day long I have held out my hand to a disobedient and Stand, uh, of stand people. This morning, I would like to share with you, your faith will increase. The Bible says, faith from hearing the message, and the message is the word of Christ. Do you want to increase your faith? Hear the word of the Lord. I know my brother, sisters, listen to the word of the Lord, meditate the word of the Lord, read the Bible, memorize the scripture, and your faith will increase. You know, when you live in this world, uh, you have to, you have to do the, these two things in this world, and then you will be a very strong Christian. Meditate the word of God. This one, meditate the word of God and pray. You know, I have the two hand, yeah, two hand. One, the word of God. One, the prayer. Do you understand? Word of God and prayer. Word of God and prayer. Word of God and prayer. These two things are very, very important in our life. If you do the, these two things in your life as you are born again, meditate the word of God and pray. And you will be a very powerful, strong Christian. You can do it, please. Yeah. And then according to this scripture, verse 16, you know, not every Jewish people believe in the Lord Jesus. No. Even still, now is, I think it's a, even look like the... Zero point, uh, zero point three, something like that. Only, only zero point three percent of Jewish people believe in the Lord Jesus. In 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 uh, America, United States of America, the population of Jewish people in in America, six million people. Thanks be to God, and I saw the the, the Christian the research. 10% of, of Jewish people in America, they are Christian. That is a miracle. Around 600,000 people believe in the Lord Jesus in the United States of America. That is a miracle. But unfortunately, most of the country, the Jewish people, they don't believe in Jesus. In UK, 300,000 people, the Jewish people live in UK. In France, 600,000 Jewish people uh, live in France. But they don't believe in Jesus. It's very tiny numbers. But um, that is why verse 16 says, Not all you know, Israel, Israelites accept the Lord Jesus, the good news. And verse 17, you know, it's a very, very famous uh, scripture, Romans 10, Romans 10, verse 17. Romans 10, 17. Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message. Now you listen to the word of the Lord, I believe that your, your, your faith will increase. And the message is heard through the word of Christ. When you hear the word of God constantly, your faith is increased. You know, hear the message is very, very important. Yeah? To lead the, the school, to lead the Bible, but here is very important. That is why whenever I drive the, my car, I turn on the, the audio Bible and uh, listen to the audio Bible in English, in Korean, and then I, I listen to the audio Bible uh, day and the night. You know, it's so important to meditate the Word of God and hear the Word of the Lord. You know, 
And uh, when you hear the word of God, word of Christ, and your faith increase, your faith increase, yeah. And um, st still, you know, God desire for you. God want to increase your faith, increase your faith. Actually, your life is using by God or not by your faith. If your faith is great, yeah, God can use you mightily for the glory of the Lord. Therefore. You know, I I I told uh, brother Louis uh, yesterday, and he came on the street. He preached the gospel. His brother is singing on the street. <laughs> within within one hour, this young boy, uh, Lonnie, he raised up sixty pound on the street, and uh, it was a miracle. Actually, I was praying for him, and then I told uh, Louis, uh, brother, about your mother. Your mother. You know, stop to take the you know alcohol. She, mother is alcohol problem. It's finished now. Praise God for that. But after somebody stop to take the uh, alcohol, they need to feeding something. What kind of food does she need? She need the word of God. I told him very clearly. Do you understand? If somebody yeah, not take the alcohol anymore, and then if they don't take the word of God, do you know what happened? They're looking for another things. And somebody who was set free from you know drug addiction, yeah, drug addict. And then you know when they finish the drug, and they're looking for some other drug, other not other drug, other uh, the addiction. You know that is uh, very easily from drug addict to alcoholic, from alcoholic to shopping holy, from shopping holy or to any other addiction. Therefore, when you live in this world, the best food in the world, the word of God. That is why Jesus say, "Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that come from mouth of God." Please, um, I know my dear sisters, uh, sister Unjung and Lillian, and then thank you for watching, and then your, you know, mother too, and then you can walk in the kitchen, turn on the audio Bible, and then when you when you're driving, and then and then listen to the audio audio Bible, and then read the Bible, and then turn on the praise worship, uh, you know, music and worshiping God. Do you know, the word of God is in your hand. Do you understand? The word of God in your hand. And um, how wonderful. In North Korea or in the Middle East, Muslim country, they don't have the word of God in their hand. Of course, they listen to the word of God through the internet, but it's very, very hard. But for you and me, we have the freedom to read the Bible. Yeah, That, that is why you have to meditate the word of God day and the night. Acts chapter 15, verse 7 in Acts chapter 15 verse uh, Acts chapter 15 um, verse 7 I can read it for you uh, Acts chapter 17 verse uh, sorry Acts chapter 15 verse 7 Acts chapter 15 verse 7 say after much discussion Peter got up and dressed them brothers you know that some time ago God made a choice among you that Gentiles might hear from my lips the message of the gospel and believe. Do you understand? What Peter said to Jewish people, people hear the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ and believe. They you know, hear the message from mouth of Peter. He said, from my lips. The message of the gospel and believe. You know what Peter did? He preached the gospel. And some mission organization research how people convert, how people become a born again Christian. And then one person to be become a born again Christian, at least 6.8 times they can hear the gospel of Lord Jesus. And then finally they give their life to Jesus and become a born again. Which means seven almost seven times you know, they need to hear the, about the goodness of Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, you and me need to preach the gospel in season and out of season. Do you understand? Do you know, for me, the leaflet, you know, yesterday, you know, I, I, I distributed the leaflet. Two days ago, I did. I visited over 300 houses. I spent, uh, I was fasting for 
almost 30 hours, 30 hours I didn't touch the food, I was fasting, I was a little bit weak physically, but I visited 300 houses, I put a leaflet. And then what does it mean? It's like a leaflet, our Christian leaflet is like the, the bullet. You know, you can use the, uh, the machine gun to shot, <laughs> to destroy the unbelief, destroy the unfaithfulness, destroy all the darkness. Destroy the plan of Satan. Destroy the work of Satan. We, we destroy it by the bullet, which is the word of God. Let the word of God touch the source in your area, in London, in United Kingdom. Next Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three days, we'll go to Liverpool and Manchester and North Wales. For what? To preach the gospel. We're going to build it around the 10,000 houses. You know, God gave me desire to preach the goodness of Lord Jesus, especially give the leaflet for this people in UK. Yeah? But hear the gospel. Do you know what Peter say? Gentile, hear, hear, from my lips, the message of the gospel, and believe. What Peter did, he preached the gospel for Gentiles, and the people hear the message of Jesus, and they become born again. Therefore, your job need to preach the gospel. You know, yesterday I was sharing the good news. Yeah, um, you know, uh, how can they preach? How can they preach unless they are sent? Yeah. How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news? Your feet is a beautiful, beautiful uh, feet to bring the good news for others. Yeah, you have to preach the gospel. And look at the you know, revival, true revival is a true revival of the word of Christ, word of Christ, word of God. Look at Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 2, verse 37, when they hear the message, which is the word of Christ, they were cut to the heart and say to Peter and other apostles, brothers, what shall you do? Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You see, Peter preached the gospel, and people, they hear the message, and their heart is cut. When their heart is cut, and they respond to area. How they respond? They repent of the sins, or they, they hate the preacher. You know, according to the Acts chapter 7, same message. You know, but different the preacher. Acts chapter 7, uh, verse uh, um, 54, when they heard, when they, <coughs> when they heard the message, again, <coughs> yeah, when they heard the message from Stephen, he's a deacon, they were furious and they grasped their teeth at him. And what they do? They kill the preacher. You see? The word of God is so powerful, the cut to the heart. But some people respond and then repent of the sins, and then receive the uh, gift of the Holy Spirit. Of course, before they receive the Holy Spirit, they repent of the sins and they cry out to God. Yes. Therefore, the word of Christ is the most important in our life. Yeah. Look at Acts chapter 4, verse 4. Acts chapter 4, verse 4, what was happening, early Christian, early church, what was happening, but many who hear the message believed, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. Can you imagine? 5,000 people gave their life to <coughs> Jesus. Acts chapter 4, verse 4. Therefore, there is a revival through the word of God. You and me to preach the, the gospel of the Lord Jesus in day and the night. Of course, you need the feeding by the word of the law daily. That is why Jesus said, man shall not live by bread or rum, but by every word come from mouth of God. Meditate the word of God. Receive the word of God. Look at Acts chapter 4, verse 19 and 20. Acts chapter 4, verse 19 and 20 say, But Peter and John replied, Judge for yourself. Whether it is right in the God's sight to obey you, obey you rather than God. Yeah. Do I need to obey man or obey God? Paul said, if I still pleasing man, I am not servant of Christ. I obey God. 
verse 24, we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. Therefore, they keep on preaching. They cannot stop to share the good news of Lord Jesus, what they heard, what they see. Therefore, they preach the gospel, preach the gospel. Therefore, early church, there is a great revival because of the word, the revival of the word of God in early church. Therefore, even now, what I'm doing every morning, six o'clock, and evening, eight o'clock, I share the word of the Lord. What I'm doing in the daytime, in the nighttime, I meditate the word of God, day and day night. This is my main job. You know, my main job is not go somewhere to give the leaflet or do, no, no. My main job, yeah, dwell in the presence of God with the word of the Lord. My main job is to meditate the word of God in his presence. It's wonderful when you meditate the word of God in the presence of God that is heaven. Do you understand what I'm talking about? If you're born again, if you understand you know, what I'm saying, you are truly, truly mature born again Christian. Meditate the word of God in his presence. That is a great blessing. Great blessing. Yeah. Can you go there, Romans chapter 10, verse 18. But I ask you, did they not hear? Of course they did. They hear the message. Their voice has gone now into all the earth. Their word to the ends of the world. The word of God go into all of the world. The preaching, the gospel. Thomas went to India. India. In these days, I keep on praying for Indians. And then, yes, I talked to you. There's some, some Indian pastor yesterday or so. And um, yeah, it's very difficult in India. You see, one of the disciples of Lord Jesus, you know, <laughs> Thomas, he got to India. He died in China. China. And then he died in India. You know, therefore, preach the gospel. Look at the, um, um, Psalm 19, verse 4. Book of Psalm 19, um, verse 4 say, The voice, their voice goes out into all the earth. Their word to the ends of the world. In the heavens, he has a pitch, a tent for the sun, yeah, which is a bridegroom coming forth from his uh, pavilion, like the champion rejoining to learn his cause. Jesus, Jesus is the one, the voice, the word of God, preach. Therefore, do you know this gospel of Lord Jesus, not for early church only, for even now. Do you know what Jesus said? Great commission. Do you know what this means, great commission? Great commission means he gave us uh, his will. Yeah? When somebody died, he yeah, gave us the will, but we called uh, the will of Jesus. What is the will of Jesus? Is he left the great commission. This great commandment is a duty. For you and me, what is the duty? Look at verse 18, Matthew chapter 28, verse 18. Then Jesus came to them, to Jesus, uh, disciples, and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. Surely, I am with you always to the very end of the age. You can see the four birds. Number one, go. Number two, baptize them. Number three, teaching them. Yeah. Number, number four, and God say, I am with you. Go, oh, sorry, four things. Go and then make disciples and then baptize them and teaching them. Four. Four things you have to do. Yeah. Well, you can see, teaching is the word of the law. Teach the word. We have to teach. You know, I, I'm a missionary in the United Kingdom. What I'm doing now, I'm training the brothers, sisters. You know, I trained the uh, brother Louis yesterday how to preach 
how to encourage you preach it. I training them and teach them to obey everything I have commanded you what Jesus said. Yeah? Teaching is a very, very important. Yeah? That is why Acts chapter Act chapter um, Act chapter five and verse forty two Acts chapter five verse forty two day after day in the temple court and from house to house they never stop teaching and proclaim the good news that Jesus is the Christ. Can you see that? Three main ministers of Jesus uh, preaching and teaching and healing, yeah? And you can see the one verse, you can see the two ministry preaching and teaching. What they preaching? Jesus is the Christ. What they teaching? Jesus is the Christ. In where? In the synagogue, in the temple court, and house to house. Wherever they meet together. In the house, in the temple court, they preaching and teaching. Jesus is the Christ. And then, can you see the Romans chapter 10 verse 19? Uh, and I uh, ask, did you Israel not understand? First the Moses say, I will make you envious by those who are not a nation. I will make you angry by a nation that has no understanding. Do, do you understand? Israel, Jewish people, they are envious now because of uh, some other country. Like, uh, uh, you know, many Korean missionaries working in, in Israel. Can you imagine Jewish people yeah, send missionary to all of the world 2,000 years ago? But now, Koreans go to Israel to preach the gospel for Jewish people. <laughs> That's envious. Isn't that wonderful? Jewish people hear the gospel through Koreans now in Israel. Isn't that wonderful? This is uh, God make Jewish people envious by those who are not a nation. Do you understand? <laughs> that is the meaning. Look at the Acts chapter 11, verse 11. Acts chapter 11, verse 11 is the most uh, important the scripture about the Jewish, uh, uh, Jewish people. When you have a ministry for Jewish people, you need to understand the Romans 11, 11. Again, I ask you, did they stumble? Stumble? So, as it to fall beyond the recovery? Not at all. Later, because of that transgression, salvation has come to the Gentiles to make Israel envious. Israel people, they be jealous. Why? Because of other people, other nations, Africans, Asians, Europeans, you know, all people from all over the world believe in the Lord Jesus, God make Israel envious. This is what the Bible says. And then, you know, but look at verse 12, Romans 11, 12. But if their transgression means riches for the world, what does it mean? Because of these Jewish people <coughs> rejected the gospel, these disciples went to, all, to, to the Gentiles. Therefore, they received the good news of Lord Jesus. They become a rich in Christ Jesus. I don't talk about the money. I don't talk about the material things. I talk about the spiritual things, riches. Yeah? For the <laughs> Gentiles. And look, and their loss means riches for the Gentile. How much greater riches will their fullness bring? What does it mean? If Jewish people yeah, give their life to Jesus, not reject to Jesus anymore, and then more fullness blessing, more blessing, more fullness bring. Do you understand? They will see. You and me are Gentile, you can see the more grace more blessing through Jewish people. They need to, you know, you know, Jesus will come back again, yeah, but you have to see the two areas, mission to Israel, mission to the world. You understand? Mission to Gentile, mission to Jews. This, these two areas. I pray these days. Pray, keep on praying for Jewish people to come to Lord Jesus. It's very important. And verse 20, Romans 10, 20, Isaiah boldly says, I was found by those who did not seek me. I revealed myself to those who did not ask for me. Isn't that wonderful? For you and me, we didn't ask in God. Yeah? Jewish people, they didn't ask in God. But God said, I was found by those who did not ask me. 
The night did not seek me, but I revealed myself to those who do not ask and seek. I come and meet with you. Did you understand? Most of the religion, they try to seeking their own God, but Christianity is different. God himself came to us, to found us, and save us, and change us. That is different. Therefore, Christianity is not religion. It's a relationship with God. Relationship with Lord Jesus. It's very important to have a relationship with Jesus. Therefore, that is the Old Testament. Isaiah boldly say, look at Isaiah 65. Isaiah 65, verse 1 and 2. Isaiah 65, verse 1 and 2 say, I revealed myself to those who did not ask for me. I was found by those who did not seek me. To a nation that did not call on my name, I say, here am I, here am I. <laughs> Can you imagine? Who said that? Here am I, here am I. God said that. They didn't call. They didn't seek in God. But God said, God opened his arms, opened his hand. Here am I, here am I, I. here am I. Please find me. That kind of attitude all day long like I said, all day long I have held out my hand can you imagine he held his out his hand to overstand people so stubborn people yeah I've this is terrible people arrogant people but still he reached out his hand here am I here am I not only, you know, 2,700 years ago in the Isaiah time, no. Now, God still stretched his hand. He held his hand out and he waiting for you and me. Come, return to me, return to me. That is why Romans chapter 10, verse 21, but concerning Israel, he say, all day long, I have held out my hand to disobedient and of stand people are waiting for these people. Come to me, return to me. Now is the time to meet Jesus. Now is the time to surrender your life. Can you surrender your life to Jesus? Can you go, go to him, go to him. He say, come to me. He say, yes, I come. Yeah, you have to return to Jesus right now. Yeah. Jesus loves you, how long? Continuously. That is why John chapter 13, John chapter 13, verse 1, this is the um, heart of Jesus. John 13, verse 1, it was just before the Passover feast, Jesus knew that the time had come for him to leave this world. He knew the time and go to the Father, mm. having loving he having loved his own, which means disciples, and not only disciples who are belonging to Jesus, who were in the world, he now showed them the full extent of his love. What does it mean? He now showed them the full extent of his love, which means he loved his own people continuously, continuously. You may say that, oh, if I'm, you know, if I'm a child of God, why God allowed this terrible happening, blah, 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 all these things. But I'm telling you, that is a sign of God intervene. Sign of, you know, God's love. Don't tell me, oh, this terrible crisis, terrible, difficult and suffering is not, you know, love of Jesus. But I tell you, that is love of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that? Do you know, that is the love of Christ, good or bad? doesn't matter. The matter is, Jesus loves you. He loves you. Remember that Jesus loves you in, in, in anywhere. I know, Pastor Yun, and then in, in, in India, He loves you. He loves you. And God be with you. He want to give you strength, and He want to use you mightily for the glory of the Lord. I declare that India shall be saved. 1.3 billion Indians need to know Jesus, come to Jesus. Therefore, today, your faith will increase by hearing the message of Jesus. Yeah. Therefore, your job, my job, 
preach the gospel in season and out of season. Very soon I received the 40,000 leaflet from America and then I'm gonna distribute. I want to give unto you and use this leaflet to, to deliver it. Preach the gospel, yeah? Yeah, preach the gospel. It's so easy to preach the gospel. Don't tell me preach the gospel is so difficult. No, just to deliver the these tracks. Give to your neighbor, uh, give to your friend, your family. That is so easy, isn't it? Just to deliver. Therefore, don't think about it and all to deliver the message and preach the gospel difficult. No, so easy. So easy. Jesus uh, live, in, lives inside of you and he'll be with you all the days of your life. Father, we thank you for this opportunity. And then we know the true revival is a revival of the word mm. of God. Let the word of God dwell in our heart, literally. And the word of God will come out from our mouth. Mm. And then Peter, he say, and uh, from my lips, the gospel of Lord Jesus preached and believed. People believe the word of the Lord and then they become a children of God through the message of the gospel. Father God, therefore, uh, you can help us mm. to, uh, to share the goodness of Lord Jesus mm. uh, from our lips. And you can have a full of word of God in our heart. Father God, give us a burning desire to meditate your word in day and the night. Mm. And then you can pray and with your word. Mm. We live by your word. That is why Jesus said to us, Man shall not live by bread or arm, but by every word come from mouth of God. Not some of the word, but every word from mouth of God. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you. You made a heaven and earth by your word. Mm -hmm. Would you recreate us by your word today? And we become like our Lord Jesus even today. In Jesus' name we pray. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. <coughs> Bye now.